Want to splurge on some craft supplies with me today? We are just going to supermarket sweep this, cricket shop, fill the cart as much as you want. Ah, oh, it's going to be amazing. This is all happening too fast, guys. That's already blown quite a lot of the budget, guys, hasn't it? <laughs> we should have started in the sale. Smart sticker paper for the joy. What? I never heard of this. Like, I have too many weaknesses when it comes to crafting. Let me explain what's going on here. You guys might know that I am in the Cricut crew. We teach online workshops to help you guys who are struggling with your like, Cricut machines as beginners. By the way, you know, I'm going to link it below. Please book a workshop with me. I'd love to see you on a workshop with me. As part of that role, I also get vouchers to spend on the Cricut website. And I don't know about you, but any time that I get given a voucher, it's just, I know that is like the end of its life. It's going to end up in the bin. I won't use it. I won't spend it. The money is going to get wasted and I hate it. So this one is expiring at the end of this year, December 2021. You know, 31st is my cutoff and I don't want to lose my free craft supplies, quite frankly. So we're going to spend that money right now. Come with me to the Cricut shop and we're going to get going. The first thing I already already know I want and it's kind of the only thing that I know I want and everything else is a mystery is the mug press if you're watching from the US yes you've had access to it for much longer than we have it only came out here a few months ago and obviously it immediately went out of stock but it has recently come back in stock and I've already waited too long I really don't want to miss out this time so that's it add to cart that's already blown quite a lot of the budget guys hasn't it <laughs> but I want it so it's fine okay so Let's try and be a bit systematic about this now. Cutting machines, I don't need more cutting machines. Heat presses, no, I already have, oh, but you know what? I could kind of be tempted by the mini, easy press mini. And it is on sale, 40 pounds, so 15 pounds off. Okay, we're gonna add it to the cart and then we'll think about it at the end. <laughs> That's already 220 pounds spent, guys. Oh my god. Okay, so did I say the voucher is for 250 and I'm kind of willing to spend around 300 pounds. Let's go to materials. Foil transfer sheets. When are they going to come out with new colors or is there like a natural limit on the sort of colors that work in foil? I don't know. I already have like a decent amount of the smaller size, but ooh, yes, they've got the 12 by 12 sheets and they're on sale. Okay, so I'm going to get red because I don't have any red. I do have like the multi... Oh no, I have um, gold. I have 12 by 12 and gold. So I'm going to get a silver and a rose gold. And I've now got seven pounds left to spend. This is all happening too fast, guys. I'm going to skip iron-on because I'm not a massive user of iron-on. Maker-only materials? Ah, oh, guys, we forgot to do something. We should have started in the sale. We can get organized after. We'll look at the sale first and then we'll go back. Okay, 12 by 24. I have no cardstock in this size. I'm not sure if I would ever have a use for it. I don't think I do projects that big, but okay. Let's add the sorbet. It's only three pounds to the cart because you can't go wrong with it only being three pounds. Premium lavender vinyl, that is my color. We are getting that. Foil paper sampler. Like I have too many weaknesses when it comes to crafting. It's so easy for me to say yes to loads of this. Jewels and 12 by 24, okay, bring it on. Shimmer paper. Oh, the, the cart keeps popping up on the side every time I add something to my cart. It's so annoying, telling me that I'm spending too much. Basswood. Yep, I'm gonna get that because I do have the maker and the knife blade, but I've only ever used chipboard, so it'd be really cool to try out the wood. Oh, that's weird. Why are they selling iron-on designs on their website? That makes no sense. I mean, isn't the whole point of the machines that you create these things yourself? Maybe that's why they're on the sale. They've kind of realized they should not be selling such things. Glitter, pastel, sampler, two pounds six. Oh, it's out of stock, of course it is. Okay, fine, so we did the sale. Where were we before I realized we had not done that? We were, yes, looking at material kinds, paper and cards. Let's look at insert cards. Do you know what? I have recently become obsessed with making insert cards on the Joy. And I have to say, before I started, I really was being very snobby about it and was just like, I don't like any of these designs and I'm never going to use them, but, Actually, I have found within like the ready to make joy insert cards, there are loads of designs that I actually do quite love and I use it all the time now, especially for like, oh my God, my daughter has like a birthday party to go to every other weekend at the moment and it is just such a lifesaver. So I wanna sort out my supply. I will say though, the only ones I really like are where the insert card is like holographic or, you know, metallic. I don't like the ones where it's like two plain colors. 
this one is shiny, isn't it? The, this macarons, oops, what have I done there? Don't do that. I wanna open this in new tab. Let's see. Oh, why are there no other pictures? I can't tell. Insert cards. Oh, I don't think this one is gonna be shiny, so skip that. Gray and silver. I feel like that gray is too dark. I prefer these pastel colors. Do they have one? Oh yes, there we go, princess sampler. Uh -uh, and it's on sale. Ah, oh, amazing, everything's on sale. Okay, so I'm gonna add that to my cart. Cream and gold, what do you guys think? Cream and gold. I feel like that gold is kind of very brush, kind of tacky gold. I'm not that convinced by it. Matte holographic silver, I might add that one. It's got darker gray. Although actually maybe that lighter gray was nicer. See how hard these decisions are guys. I'm gonna add both and then we'll decide. Don't be telling me about how much money I've been spending, okay? We're gonna look at that at the end. All right, so we did paper on cards, insert cards, cardstock, do I need any cardstock? Let's have a quick look. Because you just never know. Glitter cardstock, no, I've got plenty of that. Smart sticker paper for the joy, what? I never heard of this. Okay, I'm gonna get that. I mean, I knew, I, I know it's a thing, but I've only ever seen it for the bigger machines. Uh, and they also have it in white. So yeah, we're gonna add that. I really wish it wouldn't pop up every time telling me how much I'm spending, stop it. Oh, we're into the outer stock again, guys. Well, how do I not notice this? Okay, fine, go away. Smart materials, yeah. You know, I'm really intrigued to see where smart materials go next. So they've got the cardstock sticker paper, um, but I just wonder what else is coming. Do I need any of these things? I don't particularly want any removable. Smart iron-on. I don't like this pattern. Maybe I'll get the larger size white of sticker cardstock. Yes, yes, okay. We're over the budget. We get it, guys. Smart label writable paper? I'm not even gonna look at it this time. Oh, but it doesn't disappear unless you exit. Oh, Cricut, please sort it out. No one wants to know. Do I want the black cardstock sticker paper? Right, where were we? Uh, infusible ink. Yes, okay, so I don't use infusible ink anywhere near as much as I should. I think. Materials, infusible ink, it's down here. I have to admit though, a lot of the patterns that um, are available in infusible ink, I really dislike. Like this check black and red thing is not my thing. Rainbow cheetah, no thank you. No, not tropicals. Galactic stars maybe, oh, this is more my thing. This watercolor and this splash pad. I can definitely see myself using those. And the distressed berry, that looks nice. Rainbow again, no. Yeah, like what is this? Western's sweetheart. I'm sorry, I, it's just, I don't know, I just, I have a particular design that I like or style that I like, and everything else is out of stock. Oh, brilliant. Do you know what? I feel like um, the longer I spend on this website making decisions, the more likely it is that the one thing I really want, the mug press, is gonna go out of stock again. Need to get on with it, guys. Ooh, so specialty, what is this? Aluminium sheets. I kind of want these, but at the same time, I haven't got the first clue what I would do with them. Foil acetate sampler, that looks nice. Okay, we're gonna get both of those. Ooh, and there's a confetti, no, I don't like the confetti pattern, no. No, 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 366 pounds, oh my God. Guys, it's getting out of control. Love notes, is that like a bunch of hearts? That could be cute for like gift boxes. I have to do a bunch of gift bags for my daughter's birthday party coming up. Foil party sampler unicorn out of stock. Again, I didn't notice, ah, oh, time wasted. Uh, where were we? Specialty and vinyl. Do I really want any vinyl? I feel like I'm well stocked up with vinyls. I'm gonna skip the vinyls. Are there any blades or tools that I don't yet have that are worth getting? Okay, so the Cricut roll holder, guys, Tell me, is do any of you have it? Does it make your life easier? It's on sale right now, so I could pick it up. I don't need the rotary blade, foil kit I've got. I've also got it for the joy, amazing. <laughs> I know, it's, it's amazing. I'm so uh, blessed to have all these things. Scoring wheel we've got. The Cricut Joy blade obviously came with the machine. Perforation blade. Okay, this one I don't have. Wavy blade I don't have. You guys tell me, I don't think I'm gonna buy them right now, but do you guys have the wavy blade or the perforation blade and are they worth it? Do you use them that much? Let me know. Pens and markers. You know, I kind of want to get some infusible ink pens. Maybe my kids can like, you know, do that whole thing of drawings. Oh yes, this one. My daughter would love these colors. Add to cart. Oh, the one thing I do find annoying about the pens which have like a fiber tip is that they get squashed in the um, machine and then the line they draw becomes like really fat and it sort of messes up your designs, which is annoying. I might get some more gel pens for that reason because they've obviously got a hard tip so they don't get that problem. I've already got this set, so... Oh, there it is. Glitter pens, black, gold, silver, we'll get that. Yeah. Okay, go on then, tell me. 
380 pounds almost. Eee. We're gonna keep going though, guys. I'm not one to give up. Confession, I don't really sew, so I'm not gonna look at sewing tools. Bright pad, I actually got a bright pad. Awesome, except guys, do you actually use it? Because I tried, tried to use it with um, some silver glitter HTV to do my weeding and it just didn't help in the slightest. I'm sure it is really helpful for like the darker colors and I also plan to use it for some Islamic geometry that I am doing for like the tracing part. But yeah, I'd love to know if you guys have a bright pad and your experience of it. Customizable blanks. I really shouldn't buy more blanks when I haven't used the ones I already have sitting right behind me in the craft room. Wine bag blank. Pillow cover. I could do a pillow cover. Let's do one pillow cover. I do have some of these pencil cases and haven't used them yet. So, oh no, hang on, that's cream. Do I want cream or white, guys, for the pillow cover? Same price. I think I'm gonna go white. I mean, I might end up buying both. <laughs> and everything else is out of stock. All right, fine. So we did customize for blanks. I don't need any mats. I've got the heat resistance tape. I have a self-healing mat. Storage and organization. Oh no, I don't. Machine tool organizer. Guys, do I need this? It is 18 pounds. It's like a 10 pound discount right now. I don't know if you've seen, but I do have really lovely like set of drawers where I keep all of my tools, but I feel like for um, videos and things, it could just look really lush to have stuff in the tool organizer. Oh my God, my basket's gone to 400 pounds. Oh my God. <laughs> I really should not be spending this amount of money. Okay, what we're gonna do now, head to the basket and decide what we really need and what we just don't. Mug press, I definitely wanna keep. Easy press mini, I'm gonna come back to that. Um, all these foil transfer sheets. Oh, I don't know what to do. Do I need them? Okay, let's remove... No, I'm gonna come back. I can't decide. Sorbet cardstock sampler. Sorry, but if it's three pounds, it's like, you know, it will be silly not to buy it, right? It's not making much of a dent in the budget here. Lavender vinyl, it was only one, we're gonna keep that. Foil paper sampler, five pounds. Jewels, oh, it's so hard to like choose what not to get. Oh my God. Okay, let's decide between the dark gray and the light gray cards. I'm gonna go with the light gray. Oh, oh I, hit, I hit the wrong one. Okay, I guess that means we're getting the dark gray ones. Fine, I'm happy with either. Um, sticker paper, could be cool to have that. Is there much point in having it for the joy and for the maker? That seems a bit silly. Infusible, you know what, let's get rid of some of these infusible inks. I've got far too many in here. I'll get rid of this splash pad one because I think I'm more likely to use that watercolor. That's more my style. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this pink lemonade thing. Okay, we're back down to 380, that's not bad. I wanted to spend about 300, we have to get rid of 80 pounds of stuff, oh my god. I thought I was planning, I was trying to get to 350, but no, we're trying to get to 300. I do want to try these foil acetate things, so I'm not going to get rid of them. Page two, yeah, the cart goes over two pages. Ooh, okay, maybe let's just get rid of these, um, these blanks. I already have a set of, like a supply of blanks that I need to actually use. Okay, I'm going to have to make a tough decision now, guys. Am I going to get the tool organizer or not? Yeah, it feels like a waste of money. I already have a nice drawer where I keep all my tools. Don't worry, I will be doing like an updated craft room tour for you guys. I mean, if you can tell, a lot has changed here since I did my last like craft room tour. So that will be coming. I'm not sure I can get rid of anything else. I feel like I would use it all. And I do have that voucher to use. Maybe I'll get rid of the mini. And if it's meant to be, it will it will come to me. We're gonna remove it. And then we'll get closer back to our initial budget. 314 pounds, I can live with that. Yeah, that's not bad. I might be able to apply some discount codes as well. We'll see. This was so fun. I can't wait for the delivery of all these exciting things. I'm gonna go and check out my cart. And then if you want to see an unboxing, let me know below when the delivery comes. Honestly, this was so fun. The next time I get my voucher, let me know. Do you want to do this again and go shopping with me? Maybe in fact, I should just let you guys decide what I should buy. All right, guys, thanks for watching with me. It was honestly so much fun to um, decide what to buy and to make sure that voucher does not go to waste. All right, I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy crafting.